All right, so this is just a quick lesson. You may have done this back in, uh, let's see, maybe grade 8 math or so, but anyway, I'm just going to quickly go over it. It's called bed mass. And uh, what it is, is it's just a way of doing things. It's the correct order of doing things when you're doing a question like the one you see down here. So uh, bed mass, as you can see, comes from this. It's called an acronym. So the B stands for brackets. Exponents is second, then division and multiplication. You do them in the order that they appear in the question. Um, and the last thing you do is addition and subtraction, which is also in the order that they appear. So enough talk. Let's try a question right here. It says 7 squared. And remember, 7 squared does not mean 7 times 2. It means 7 times 7. Okay? Plus 6 minus 8, bracket, 5 minus 3, bracket divided by 2 plus 2. All right, let's do this question. What does it say up top? Brackets first. Okay. So you can rewrite things. 7 squared plus 6 minus 8, bracket. Now inside the brackets we have 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2 as you're telling me. I can hear you. Divided by 2 and then plus 2. All right. One step at a time. The next step, what's next? It says exponents. Well, these are called exponents right here. We'll look at them more in detail later in this course, but right now, you just have to know that that little 2 up there really means 7 times 7. Well, you know your times tables. 7 times 7, 49. Write everything else out. Okay, there we go. Next step. We want to do division and multiplication. Remember, these are together, okay? So looking from left to right, we'll do them in the order that they appear. So looking from left to right, hmm, addition, nope. Subtraction, nope. Over here we see 8 times 2, cool. So we're going to go 49 plus 6. Notice we just wrote them again. Over here we have a minus sign, and it says 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Notice that I just left the minus sign there. You could have said to yourself, what's negative 8 times 2? And that also would give us negative 16. So either way, it works out nicely. Then we have divided by 2 plus 2. All right. So I'm rewriting again because I still see some division. Can you see it? Right here. So what's negative 16 divided by 2? Well, remember, a, po a negative and a positive when you divide always ends up in a negative. So you get neg 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus 2. Is there any more multiplication or division? No, I don't see any. So now basically we just do the rest of the question. 49 plus 6 is, you're probably telling me in the background, 55. 55 minus 8 is what? Well, I guess I could write it out. 55 minus 8 plus 2. So 55 minus 8, well, 55 minus 10 would be 45. So 46, 47. So this is 47 here. Plus 2. I don't have a lot of room, so I'm just going to do the answer. 47 plus 2 is 49. And that is our answer for this particular question right here, 49. I'm going to do one more question with you, and then I think you can go and do these on your own, because you'll be fine. OK, here's the next question. Remember bed mass, OK? We don't have the word above us here, so we're just going to have it memorized now. Bed mass, B, brackets. OK, you can't do much in here. There's nothing in there. It's just negative 2.6. So we look over here to these brackets. Can we do anything in here? Yes, we can. 1.2. I'm using a calculator here just because I'm being lazy here. 1.2 divided by 6.8. I've got negative 5.6. All right, this became that. So I'm just going to write everything else down. 12.35 divided. Whoops, divided by 1.3 times negative 2.6. And remember, it's minus 5.6, because these two ended up in a negative. 
So just leave that answer right there. Okay? Um, so here we have, well, we have no exponents. So B, E, no exponents. So now we're on to division and multiplication. So just do them in the order that you see. 12.35 divided by 1.3. Let's do that. 12.35 divided by 1.3 on the calculator. You get 9.5. Then there's a times symbol. Negative 2.6 minus 5.6. By the way, this time symbol is not really necessary because in math, as you get further and further in math, um, they stop using this time symbol that much and instead they would just go 9.5 and then put a bracket, negative 2.6. When you do that, when you just have a bracket beside a number, that also means times. Did you know that? You probably did. Okay, anyway. So 9.5 times negative 2.6 and I've got negative 24.7 minus 5.6. Now I'm just going to put those together on my calculator. So negative 24.7 minus 5.6. My final answer is negative 30.3. Cheers.